so here's the circle jig that goes with the disc sander um, it can do a radius of approximately that's the realistic sort of maximum it can do the smallest circle you can do because if I flip this over there's a little divot thing in there well a, net, a screw that's screwed in from the other side poking out um, so if I turn that round that's the smallest it'll do basically you can adjust the radius of your arch or your circle by sliding this back and forth along here that's the center point and then you go from there and then slides back and forth on the lighter track on there and then it tightens up just like that that little knob clamps clamps your circle center in place scrap board let's pretend that we want to make um, a nice arch in the end of this using this jig um, so first of all let's just decide a random sort of shape then I go for possibly something like that so I want to be in the middle of this board with my point of the compass um, so I'll just North line across and then can easily find the center I'm doing just to go to both edges like that. So you've got your center in the middle of the board and then from there we're going to draw our arch. I'll take that in nicely so it'll locate on the pin of the jig. Let's say about there. Okay. So we've got ourselves a nice little end of board arch. So I went quite roughly just to the outside edge of that line and then we'll go to the edge now. There's two ways of doing this. I can either measure it if I wanted an exact distance from there to there to make that a, a precise sort of edge arch then I'd measure that and then I'll transfer that radius to this point here adjust that, tighten it up, lock it in place and then I'll start that way or what I'll do in this case is I'll leave that as a slightly loose sliding fit I'm going to pop this trying my best to find that hole in fact one easy way of doing that is just to take this out pop it in where it needs to go, hold it there and then slide the slide that back in so I've got it there quite loosely okay so this can move back and forth at the moment and what I'll do is I'll just leave it able to slide back and forth quite stiffly so I'll push it in start sanding until all the bandsaw marks are gone and then because it's quite stiff I'll know that that would be a perfect arch um, like I say I'd have to measure and lock it in position if I wanted an exact dimensioned arch but in this case I'm messing around on a bit of scrap <laughs>
what if we want to turn something a bit smaller then uh, so for example with this one if we adjust it all the way in we're still not going to be able to turn a radius on this little doodah um, that came from the scraps box uh, so what we do is take this one out and pop in the small turning circle jig thing and this works in just the same way it's just got an added platform on it to take things closer in it's the same sort of file down screw nib point thing uh, same bar cut to quite a precise width to go in that groove and then we can adjust it that way so we've got a little off cut oaken doodah here I've roughly found the middle and made a little divot there so we'll have a go at curving off these corners then possibly just turning it into a round knob it could be uh, something bolted onto something or whatever. things I could have done there. Moving it back and forth like that a bit more. I was doing it a bit. Um, but also there's a stick that you like this plastic stick that you get and you push it against it and it clears the abrasive, which is what I use in a bit. Um, so yeah that's that's the circle jig basically. Now obviously if you were gonna make this normally you would cut it out on the bandsaw first. Um, so you don't have to sand such a vast quantity uh, yeah but just for demo purposes so that's, that's basically it for the circle jig yeah if you've got any questions then do let me know in the comments thanks for watching